word, value, growth, fellowship, transformation. I present to you the word of God that prepares you onward, inward, upward, and forward. This is covenant of life. It's winning, it's influence, it's It's establishment. discussions. Interesting. Now that I am here, don't become serious all of a sudden. I learned and I heard everybody smiling and, and all of that. Alright. Great to see you. How was our week? And now we are here. Great. Uh, we've got work to do today, but we just have one or two considerations, then we move on. Is that fine? Alright. Uh, I know it was... Uh, Good to see Bolu. Welcome back. Uh, it was all February 14. And as only as I believe my timeline was, I still had disturbances about Happy Valentine, Happy Valentine, Happy all of that. It's beautiful. You know, the Bible said, when people are rejoicing, is that true? Hold oh, on. Rejoicing at what? Don't do paganistic rejoice. Let me tell you one truth. This is not being... There is nothing called somebody is over spiritual. Are we still together now? I have taught you about the context of spirit. Spiritual is from the word Alethea, reality. You can't be over real or under real. You can only be real. You can only be spiritual. Are we still together? And week in and week out as you gather in this place, what God keeps doing to us is that He keeps shifting us into the zone of the kingdom. Remember, it's operating in the kingdom of heaven. Are we still together now? It's not enough to just see the kingdom of God. All of us are in the kingdom of God. The health is the Lord, the fullness thereof, the world, cosmos, the systems, and all of us that dwell Christians, non-Christians, unbelievers, pagans, the Bible said God is the God of all flesh. Are we still together now? When we trace the history of events down the line, if they don't have their witness in the scripture, they don't stand the Christocentric faith. Are we still together now? 
the Valentines and all of that, if you studied history so well, the story is attributed to close to three saints, Valentines. Uh, Valentine is not Jesus Christ. And the normal Valentine that died, all of that, you know, it's all about the celebration of a, Lupi, a god, Lupid, and is it Lupercalia, and all of that. It's just some um, dramas for lost. And you can tell the events by the spirit that govern it. This is not just being religious. Are you listening to me now? You can. Even the best of men fall at the trick of that day. Something is being emitted like a. Uh, and incense. Are we still together now? And men are caught up in it. And remember that until men come into the zone of friendship with God, spirits walk through them. Are we still together now? Does that make some sense? So get it down. I know we are getting better. I love you guys so much. But next year you've got to make Jesus proud. Are we still together now? Hallelujah. Hope I've not offended you. All right. Number two the issue of dating and dating well, I will have said we have sorted this issue last year, the Holy Spirit told me every year you will always have to sort this issue until you stop seeing young people in your life, so we've got to talk a bit about it, and all of that and I think you should celebrate our club meeting guys, Tomisi and Heidi and I became you know these guys are great guys really I, it's, it's not just see, I have told you something and it's true, it's a life I live discipleship is not making discipleship for yourself or disciples after yourself, the aim of discipleship under the lordship of Christ is not to make somebody look like you is that you can look like Christ are you listening to me now and become a conduit or a portrait and lead somebody else to Christ are you listening to me now I never and will never have a aim to make anybody look like me. It's not an intention anywhere in my heart. All of our schools are not to mentor anybody to become like me, but to become certain things in God. And you know, as I, I was following on the radio, and I was hearing the belief and the, the conviction, both from the man and the woman talking about dating is not this, I, I, I was proud. It's not because of any Rema. Or, you, you see, we are not sharing Rema now. But that these words can become flesh. Are we still together now? It's quite important. Quite important. The first thing that you need to know, I just talk like 20 minutes about this, we pray, and I go into my teaching properly. The concept of dating, I know we don't have all the time, so I wouldn't start all over. You can take up that assignment and make your research. Then again, let me just expose some some works. We're actually working on the material. It's actually a project, but it's going to start with the material gradually as we increase in capacity is called Project Do Not Date. We want to influence with influence of Christ a lot of especially young girls and save them from a lot of havoc. How we still together now. And believe me, God's hand is upon us. And with the support of these guys, you know, we have written chapters already, so we'll be out. We were trying to come out uh, February 14, but you know, too many activities. Are we still together now? Are you following me? So now, the truth about it is that we logically are working on that material and it's going to answer a lot of questions around dating and all of that, especially the history dating. Now, if you follow carefully, you're going to see that the concept of dating never surfaced until late 21st century. Are we still together now? It, this is not about caging you. Are we still together? See, the fight for freedom that every young person fights is a fight that cannot end. Are we still together? God creates it so that we must be under government. Are you listening to me now? When you leave your parents, you come under a husband. The husband is under Christ. Does that make sense? We must always be under authority. So says so the Lord. And we can at any time in our life revolt this, but then we will not make God's result. That cry and that, ah, I want to be free. I want to date. When we lie, when we lie, you cannot bad news and that's the gospel good news are we still together now the concept of dating is not kingdom at all it's it, see they say christian dating there's nothing called christian dating stop christianizing babylon in the kingdom are you listening dating is there are two different things there is something called dates and there is dating dates are not dating Dates are events where people go out to meet people, know people, you know, and all of that. And if you check the American society so well, you see family dating more. You see mother and son dating. 
a, a, a mother takes her son out in a public place to teach him public mannerism, teach him you know, exposure, how to interact with the opposite sex, and it's just for information and you know, public curtailing and all of that. Does that make sense now? You have the father and daughter dating. Sorry, date. Forgive me. Father and daughter date. And the father takes his daughter out, buys her ice cream, make her feel loved. Of course, in Africa, yeah, many of us didn't get that opportunity. So because of that, we run to places where we should not. Like people running to our list, which we have run to boyfriends. May God drag you back. In the name of Jesus. This is home. <laughs> Are we still together now? So dating actually is a different concept from dates. Dating is all about going out with someone intentionally. And the aim of dating, even according to Wikipedia, is not because you trust God and trust them. It's because you are trying to check if you have compatibility, emotional compatibility, sexual compatibility. And that is the part I, that hurts me the most because there are no boundaries in dating. So you have a choice. We can decide to make it a sexual dating. Does that make sense? And then after three weeks, I can find out we are not compatible. But you slept with us, still you are not compatible. I don't know how else you want to measure compatibility. Then you now walk away. Does that make sense now? And she too has to walk away. And I have said this over and over, and I'll keep saying it. Don't, sisters, are you listening to me? Don't let the man make you into a tokumbo car. When you buy a tokumbo car, when you begin to have issues with it, who will you call? The first owner. Say, when this car, if you are not careful, one, two, three, four, you have gone so far. Be, to trace down your original owner is not a problem. It becomes an ancestral issue. Now begin to use spiritual navigation. Say, tie yourself on Tunji, Don't shackle yourself. I will see you together. Don't do what? Shackle yourself. Understand the difference. And I said this and I'll say it now. You're going to get many of these kind of mati- uh, words in the material. Christians, go on dates, but don't date. Dating, don't, but go on dates. It's matured for you to go out, meet people. It's a proof of your healthy self esteem. I will see you together. Even when you're in relationships, you should still have friends, healthy ones. And you have to go out, meet people, go to places, learn environments. It makes you healthy, make, gives you exposure. Does that make some sense? But dating, run for your dear life. The way God created this system is that there is a system of cutting. Are we still together now? And still, the, the, the world is going to let you know that dating does not grant the space for exclusivity. That's the word. Exclusivity is two of us coming and agreeing we are in a relationship. So dating is not relationship even. When you're dating, you don't have a relationship with that person. You're just trying to want to have. In the kingdom, we are not called to testing or tasting. That's dating. We are called to fitting. Fit. Fit. The only place they mention taste in the Bible, the Lord was there. He said, oh, taste and see <laughs> that the Lord is good. Are we still together now? Quite important. Very, very important. May God grant us understanding. Let me just share one or two scriptures with us. I'm doing this because I want to strengthen the faith of a couple of persons right here. They could have been thinking in their hearts, you know, I've been waiting on the Lord. Okay. Toby B, I said we should not date. Toby B didn't say that. The word of God says so. And so what will happen to me, everyone will happen to you. Is before this my very eyes you will marry. I will see together. Uh, it's true. All right. The concept dating is in the Bible. A date, sorry, you know. Date, D-A-T-E-S, events, going out is in the Bible. Let me show you. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. I'm still discussing on dating. I wasn't going to my teaching. It's just a couple of stuff we have to discuss. Quite important. So that our spiritual sojourn can be guided again. Are we still together now? Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Are we all there? We have a lot of stuff to do today, and so you have to be swift to me. Amos 3, 3. Want to go, if you're there, you read with me. Can two work together, except they be agreed? This is where the problem is. Christians will say, can two work together, except they agree? They don't just come to agree. Prophet Hamos says, except they be agreed. is a past tense. That is the first instruction there. Can two people work together except they be agreed before? Where they have not met themselves. He's saying can two. So that means we just met. So where did we meet? I will show you. 
the Hebrew word agreed, you know, I will have to do this. It's from the word of your heart. Y A A D. And it means to fix upon and by implication to meet at a stipulated time. Check the concordance to verify that. Your heart, it means to fix upon and to meet at a what? Stipulated. That is a date. Is that not a date? We meet at sweet sensation. The scripture said yes. I accommodate that people should go on dates, but not dating. God is not a foolish God. The devil did not create anything. When you see anything abused, it was an aberrated system in the kingdom. Never think the sons of darkness are wise. They don't have wisdom. That's all. So when God says this is the way, stop fighting, thinking you know some other way. Doesn't make some sense at all. Can two work together except they be agreed? Then you look for that you're going to see, he says, to engage for marriage. So dates, can you see that now? As much as everybody can engage, he's even giving us a boundary right now. That if you're not going to marry, don't, don't why will you go out with her if you're not going to marry her? Yorubas in their reminiscing in the euphoria of God say, in Kontia Nikje, what you will not eat, don't smell. To so burn your nose. Are we still together now? Can two work together except they be what? They be agreed. Where did they agree? Value. Can two people work together if there are differences? No. That a man is somewhere. The man is in Matogu. His name is Toby B. And there is a woman, his wife, somewhere. Are you listening to me now? And something is happening at the same time to two different people. And it's called value. Can two people work together if they don't have a common... Doesn't make some sense at all. And all of a sudden we will meet and yes, we can agree. Because I think and you think too. It's easy for you to come under my lordship. It's easy for me to love you. Not this, let us try and be dating and see where it will get to. Before we date for five years. Are you, are you okay? Say if soap stay around the leaf, soap will look like, are you an herbalist? These are things that put us in trouble. It's your mothers and those are your mothers, you know them. They are the ones that told you, red and black. Can two people work together except they be what? Agreed that when you ask this, they do it in testimony night. It's an aberration of the truth. It's not to ask what his favorite color is. It's just that when the son, the bo- listen to me carefully, understand what God did so well. The woman is not a weaker vessel. What did I say? Sisters, you are not a what? It's a lie. Man was made from the dust of the earth. The woman was made from the bones of his rib. Why? Are you listening to me carefully? When God cut the rib open, didn't close it, just closed the flesh. A vulnerability. That means there is a man that is vulnerable to you. When you go on relationships and people make you think they are sufficient without you, it's a revelation you don't belong there. Does that make some sense? This is not something you can you can dramatize. In dating, you don't show vulnerability. You show the peak of your excellence in dressings and finance and all of those things, and you are lying to your ancestors. Your ancestors are saying, hey, don't believe him, but the girl cannot hear. Say, run for your dead life. Masu more. <laughs> Can two people work except they be agreed? They, I taught you something in the mystery of marriage. Check up on our website and try and get the message. I told you the basic principle upon which marriage is precepted upon is that do not be unequally yoked with what? An unbeliever. I stretched myself that day and I taught you that in church you can still have an unbeliever. The word unbelieving is a function of context, culture kingdom has culture are you listening now that you look at me and you can just believe what i believe he's not learning i know i will have to you know come to common terms marriage is not slavery are you listening now to becoming one i know i will have to adjust for you you're a different entity and i have to adjust for i admit it but there must be a common meeting point called what value the values, the systems that I believe, the things that, that formulate when you look at me now, their mindset that sustain and make me me. A woman that does not believe it cannot. Does it make some simple sense? Not that I would be learning of him. No, no. Don't deceive yourself. You have been programmed. Only if it was not kingdom programming, then you have to rewrite your programming. But if it was so, there is a need for change. Don't lie to yourself. That thing cannot sort this. The only relationship that has that capacity is a decision of marriage and that is courtship or engagement. Are you listening to me now? Stop fooling around. You only have one body. I know we are, we are brothers and we love ourselves. For, forgive me to just be honest. As spiritual as a brother is, he does not joke with his sex life. Are you listening to me now? 
drop all this thing you are thinking is because he's doing like this in the service. Okay, all right, all right, I've heard you. It's just going to be two of you. There will not be anybody there to see when you are having issues. Are you listening to me now? Can two walk together except they be one? They be agreed. We are going to pray in this place that God should set our path on the right values that will birth who we are. There are no different values. The kingdom has its values. The secrets of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. I will talk a bit about them. One of the rules I taught again in the mystery of marriage is that anywhere in the kingdom, if you see a beautiful relationship, you see a man that can love someone and a woman that can submit. Does that make some sense now? Women are not wired to love. Understand it. You know, I've, I've addressed a lot of people in my life. It's a privilege. I've talked to married people. I've seen people got married and they departed. And the question is, the man is saying she did not love me. And I looked and said, ladies cannot love you. How, how will a lady love you? How will she do it? Adam saw her and said, Kai, this is my dream wife. This is the what? Bone of my bones. She shall be caught. He even gave her a name. Unfortunately, they gave you Scooby-Doo. They gave you only copy. They gave you names God did not call you. Are we still together now? Look that out with that full capacity. We will get there later in the teaching. Husbands, love your wife. You have the capacity. God does not ask you to do what you cannot do. You have... Are you listening to me now? Love... Stop, stop saying what is not real. Say, love is an action. Love is a verb. Love is not a word. I love you is a cause in our generation. Machine intelligence can type it to you mistakenly. Don't fall for it. I love you. Tell him I love you too. Does it make some sense at all? Love is a verb. If you know what it means to love. For God so loved. You see that now. That is where you will now fear. When you want to now understand the concept of love. It's not for God so love. For I have so loved you that no matter what you do with your life. Your, your actions and inactions cannot reverse my commitment. You think well before you, you, you claim you love someone. And say I, I, I do. Don't do it, do it, do Are we, are we still together? Forgive me. I didn't know any grammar to use. <laughs> are we still together now? You just say you love. You need to know the gravity of love. Two people with strange instructions. Joseph, the father of Jesus, Osea, the prophet with Goma. And Goma will leave Osea, the prophet of God. She was a prostitute before. And she was what? A system to reveal the adulterous and treacherous lifestyle of Israel. May God not use your life like that. Some people say, God, told you go. You think God just used to talk anyhow? Then the woman will leave the prophet and go and meet a customer. And love says he will go and wait at the door and be singing, My love, my love, love I don't go, please don't go. Can you do it? Is that not why I used to break up? Why did you break up your last breakup? Say they broke your heart. Is it plastic? Are we still together? Then she's done, satisfy her flesh. Then we will hold her like the man as he loves the body and take her back home. Dress her, bathe her, and clean her and say, You are still my wife. Doesn't matter what you do. Men have lived on it and they don't have that capacity. Respectfully speaking, some of our fathers. You are not married. It's already telling you you are seeing someone else. Why? You come late from work. You are too close to your boss. You are too, who should you be close to? Where do you walk? Should you be close to the gate man? Women don't have that capacity. All they do is that they can discern your love and come under a lordship. When women cannot submit, then they don't know how to respond in love. When the church cannot submit to the lordship of the Christ, then the church does that make some sense? He said that we can present the church without spot and wrinkle. That your submission will make you follow that man to a point where you will now look like what he is displayed. Basic kingdom law about marriage. Add anything you fail. Remove your fail. He's trying to love. They love him. Ladies will be loving. Say, I've tried. I love him. What else do you want? You are, you are it. Does that make some sense at all? 
don't hurt yourself. It's a race you cannot do. Our mother himself did not try. She, she fell. You, you are adding more burden to your life. May God deliver you. Value. Are we still together now? Can two walk together except they be... Don't ever forget this scripture. Except two people. So when you see... I don't have all the time. I will have taken us through the experience of Abraham and his eldest servant. How he, she, he went to get a wife, Rebecca, for Isaac. Does that make some sense? Then you now begin to see the role of the man of God. I taught this thing last year. Get the messages. The ministry of marriage. The 21st century marriage. You hear a couple of stuff right there. And... I told you in the real sense of marriage, the man, he said, either finds a wife. So, a value structure has been an operation that has made you into a wife. Can you see that now? It's not that it's when they now marry you, after your first night, you now see you are a wife. That's a falling system of Babylon. You are a wife first. He has become a man. He has the cap- A man is a man. A man is in the office like Jesus, the mystery. Does, does that make some sense? That I look at you and I discern that you are a God. On this basis, I bow my heart. I call you Lord. You can be small Lord, but yes, you are Lord. And you can see the other in the garden. The first man first had what? A walk. Not job. Not work of your hands. You understand these things already? Walk is not the work of your hands. First as walk, has discovered himself. It's not about passion now. It's about purpose and ordination. He understands his nomenclature and where he's going to. And he can hold your hands. Remember the woman is an help meet. I will teach you some stuff today. A, a what? Help me. When women don't have things, you know the meaning of help me. Let me rush ahead of myself. God is the helper of men. The Holy Spirit represents this operation. Are we still together now? God is the helper. The woman is the help me. That means the help that meets the standard of the helper. When a woman, number one, does not have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, she cannot reminisce in this euphoria. Number two, when the man does not have a structure in place, destiny that he's working on, the woman does not have anything to help. She can't meet any standard. And so I don't know where people have not found purpose and they have seen wife. He's 24 years, seen who God say, who God. Are you, are you fine? You had better sit down and listen carefully and understand. Are you listening to me at all? May God give us understanding. In the name of Jesus. The truth about it is that you are not under pressure. What did I say? Tell yourself there's someone for me. And he or she is under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty. It is true. It is true. Put your mind at rest. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 says something. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. I say this then we'll begin to pray and I go into my message because of time. Isaiah 34 verse 16. If you're there, you just follow me. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. And the Lord Jesus opened an, an adumbration of this experience. And Jesus opened the book. And it was, you know, the Pentateuch in the synagogue. And found the place written by the prophet Esaias. He found the place. So the scripture is saying, go and first look for place, destiny. Seek out of the book of the Lord. It's the first thing before you find, you find a woman. And he said, and read the scroll of your destiny first before you begin to read five love languages emotional intelligence and, and, and all those things that will kill your brain power and make you not effective anymore he said such and the next thing you read none of these you are dear shall do what fear that's the first thing he's first addressing a vision are you listening to me now he's first addressing utmost importance none of these people who seated here can fail says the Lord of hosts. And apart from that, none, uh-huh, shall want a mate. Do you know who a mate is? You don't have a mate because you graduated 2020 set. You don't have a mate because you work in the same place. Colleague is not mate. Mates are measured from the metrics of graces. Value. Does that make some sense now? So your mate is your value partner. Value proof is in your circle. That the value you have apportioned will describe and determine the people that come into your life. Does that make some sense at all? So don't just wonder about and say, it's not my mate. You understand the context. None of these two people shall want your mate. Seated in this place, God is sorting something powerful with your life. Stop rising and falling, distracting God. Many of you are distracting God himself. This is what our what confidence is predicated upon. Does that make some sense now? Your mate cannot be found through date or dating. Your mate can only be found through faith. Stop looking around for what is not lost. Sit down and listen well. 
I know I've not been married before, but then I have people that are married. Nigeria will even teach you after marriage, you run to work and go and look for money to eat. You think people stay back home and do I love you 247 every day? Go and ask your elderly ones now. Say, when I marry, and all those things you are dreaming, as if you are the sex god. Even God that created sex does not have desire up to you. You have to cry to God for help. Are we still together? It's easier said than done. See, the results in our life prove that we are failing at something of God. The results in our life, the limitations, the rise and falls, the disparity of our knowledge and the societies we claim Christianity we are grafted to and the ridiculous results you are making, especially emotionally, is a result, is a proof that we are lying somewhere. It's the way life is structured. No matter how much you lie to be revealed. I want you to cry and pray and say, Lord, begin the work again. Make me into a man of value. Make me into a man of value. Let it not be that as a sister, I am working on myself. Then a man will come that is not in my capacity and begin to release seeds that will destroy the womb that you are. As a man, let it not be God that your hands have come upon me. You have, you have, you have diligently seized my life, my time, and I am working powerfully in the kingdom. And then I now have value issues. Doesn't matter any stage that you are, you can still cry to God. Don't deceive yourself. Value. That's what define mates. Value. This is a short discussion on dating, so I can go into my teaching. Value. Value. I was telling you earlier if a lady cannot reminisce in that euphoria help me all of us are women on this bread he is, we are brides of Christ he is the groom he is the husband man this is a world of womb so if you cannot reminisce in that euphoria with the Holy Spirit you are going to fail I want you to cry make me a man of value Grant me the grace of compliance with the secret and the mysteries of the kingdom. Lord, I am not trying to use you. Can you work on my life? Please take your place. Take your place. Take called a man. Listen to me carefully. I'm going into my teachings gradually. The first thing that God was bothered about is not first marriage. It's first to understand the work. Do the works. I have told you marriage is a mystery. God himself acted. It's get a teaching. I won't go back too much. Are you listening to me now? The physical man and woman coming together is just, is an, are you listening to me at all? Believe what I teach you. They don't judge marriage in heaven. Are you listening to me? 
believe me <laughs> you will stand stand single before that throne are you and are you are you listening at all now don't die over what does not matter i'm sorry i'm saying i, I will marry don't don't misquote me I'm married at God's time for me. Does that make some sense? But I know that the first thing God wants to do, the first relationship is you and Him, that you can better a system and you can first be fruitful and multiply. He's not babies. He's not what? Let your children, biological, come and meet something on ground. A good father, uh huh, leave it, inheritance for. All right. May God grant you understanding. In the name of Jesus. We believe you are greatly blessed. To connect with the ministry and get more from Covenant of Life, follow us on Facebook at CL Blocks, Instagram CL underscore Blocks, and download our teachings on our website www.clblocks.org or bit.ly slash CL Messages or on telegram with the link t.me slash covenant of life for questions and inquiries call 706 357 5521 we love and celebrate you